this is my home. I couldn't give a mortgage is a big loan. Oh. Empty money, isn't it? Oh, when you're looking to buy a oh. home. And she lost her home and everything she put into it. And then dismissed me out the chat. No, I don't know if I'm going to add this bit because people are going to come for me. I don't even know if this is going to make it to YouTube. I'm a bit nervous about this one. I feel like it's a very mm, subject. Anytime I've spoken about it on my Instagram stories, there's always quite a big response. I'm doing this because I know that when I did Instagram stories about it, it uplifted people that did rent. Also, if you do own your own home, I think it's important to watch this because you may be saying things to people that rent that is maybe a bit rude or and you don't even realise it. Just to normalise renting and normalise not having this set, this set thing in life. <laughs> you don't have to go to school, go to college, go to uni, get a job, meet the love of your life, get married, have kids, get a mortgage, buy a dog, I don't know. There's no one way to do life. And I do think there is this huge pressure to have a mortgage, own a home, and just a huge pressure to be at a certain point in life at certain ages. So, hi, I'm 28. <laughs> I have no children. I'm not even sure exactly what I want to do in my life. I have a rough idea. I don't have a mortgage. I'm not getting married, probably ever. And yeah, we'll start there. This video is definitely not made with the intention to bash anyone lifestyle including someone if you do take that risk. as long as you're happy i don't really care and i think that is my main thing what really matters if you wake up every day and you're miserable also if you give the video a thumbs up please and thanks because these kind of videos are a bit scary i live about 10 15 miles away from london so with that being said it's different across the uk but here it's not necessarily cheaper to have a mortgage than it is to rent without putting an absolutely hench deposit down. I just thought I'd make that clear because I know if you're more up north, your rent can be double your mortgage. And when I'm talking about mortgages and someone having a mortgage, I'm referring to the average person who has one mortgage, one home, they live in it. I'm not talking about landlords. So I've had some rude comments made to me about renting. I have got friends that have had rude comments said to them. I know people online that have messaged me with their experience. I think I'm just gonna start off with a few things that can we stop saying. The first one isn't necessarily a big, nasty, huge comment, but it's kind of that brushing off. So I've been within a conversation where we're speaking about home stuff and I said, oh, I love home stuff. I prefer to go home shopping than I would clothes shopping. To which point that person said to me, oh, do you own your own home? I said, no. He said, oh, you're just renting. And then dismissed me out the chat. So I can't talk about home sense <laughs> because I don't pay a bank monthly and own a percentage of a home. Huh? The only people I know that actually own their home is my nan and granddad. They own it, they don't have a mortgage. Essentially, a mortgage is a big loan. And it's a big commitment and not every single person in the world wants that commitment. And yes, you're putting in money to your mortgage and eventually you're gonna own a home and you're gonna have money to get back from it. And essentially renting, you don't have any money back from it. But as we've seen from 2020, anything can happen. And I've watched one of my neighbors, her scenario changed. She was forced to get free jobs to which she was still robbing Peter to pay Paul. And she lost her home and everything she put into it. And she owned her home, owned her home. And I'm not saying that disrespectfully. It just is the facts. I don't understand why, because you have a mortgage and own a percentage of a home and potentially one day will own the whole home, why that means you're any better than me or anyone that rents. I'm not saying this is for everyone that has a mortgage and this is everyone that owns a home. Of course, not everyone is like that, but this happens quite often and the way it's spoken about is quite shocking to me because I would never dismiss someone just because they don't own a home or something like that. I just really believe as long as you're happy, it doesn't matter 
who owns the home, whether you own 15% and the bank owns the rest, or you own the whole lot, or you don't own it at all. Where you live is your home. This is my home. I couldn't give a shit who owns it. This is my home right now. If I wanna talk about home sense or home interior, whatever it may be, I have every right to be in that conversation than someone that owns their home. Going back to either owning a percentage, owning it all, eventually owning it all, not owning it at all. When people say to you, oh, that's empty money. One, I never asked. Two, you don't say that to me about anything else. Everything's gotta be an investment suddenly. There's people that buy takeaways all the time, and waste money constantly. You don't preach to them about, oh, that's empty money. How can my home be empty money? Like, it's, it's providing a roof over my head. Yes, it's not an investment, but it's not empty money. It's money going towards my home. I just don't understand what people gain out of saying that to someone. What did you get out of that? Oh, it's empty money though, innit? Okay. Another thing that I hear a lot is, oh, so do you own your home or are you just renting? Just renting. It's so minor, but it's so like, I don't know if I've got another example, but have you got an Audi or you've just got a Suzuki? It's rude, I know it's the way it's said, like, just renting. If you ever say that, just don't say that, because I don't, it's just so, it makes you feel like a tiny ant. Suddenly you're having a conversation, and then all of a sudden it's, so do you own your home and you just renting? It's like you're there, you've shrunk to a tiny little ant and gone, just renting, I'm just renting. Why is that necessary? I would never say, uh, to be honest, I don't care what your home is, so it's not a question I personally ask. I guess if you want to ask the question, you could say, oh, did you buy the home, are you renting it? Did you buy the home, are you just renting? Just renting. It's as if the moment you tell someone who has a mortgage that you rent, they become a financial advisor. Oh, empty money, isn't it? Oh, when are you looking to buy, oh. I've, I'm, I've, I'm in Barclays. I'm in the back room talking about my investments. <laughs> I'm not gonna go into mortgages and investments, but if you've read Rich Dad Poor Dad, he speaks about like investments and liabilities and stuff like that. Yes, you can get money back from a home, but you're living in the home. So say you invested in a business and you would get a return every month. You're not really getting that in that home, so it's not, do you know what I mean? Like it's not, I don't know if I'm gonna add this bit because people are gonna come for me, but investment, you might maybe never see it. So for instance, my nan and granddad, when they died, they didn't see the investment of their house. Their kids did. That's literally not what the video is about. And if you, obviously, if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. Am I saying I never want a mortgage or I never want to own a home? No, I'm not. But what I am saying is, if I die having never, ever owned a house, it's not the end of the world. I don't believe we're put on this earth to work have a mortgage, retire and die. Morbid does that sound, I just don't, I think there's more to life. There's actually a man on TikTok who, he's a multi-millionaire and he gets so much crap in the comments. He basically says he wouldn't recommend, he would recommend you buy later and not earlier in life purely because you could invest in a business or you've got the freedom to travel around or whatever. And he's a multi-millionaire and he doesn't even have a mortgage, I think he's, bought his house outright or something, I don't know. What I'm trying to say is there isn't one way to life. Just because I don't buy a house in my 20s doesn't mean I can't buy a house in my 30s or my 40s. If I never buy a house, it doesn't mean I'm not worthy. <laughs> doesn't mean that my life was empty, like my empty money. I just think we need to stop judging people on things like cars, houses, stuff like that. It's funny because it's really normalized. It's really normalized not to own your car. And although I would never own a new car, I'd own an older car because cars lose money as soon as you drive them off the forecourt. Is it called? But people are happy to spend three, four, five hundred pounds a month just to drive around in a car. Yet yeah, I would never dream of saying to someone, "Do you own your car? Are you just financing it?" Or how much are you? That's empty money. I would never. Why would I say that? 
If you're happy and you're driving around in your car really happy, why am I going to come to you and start pissing on your parade? And that is why I love Gary V. I'm going to add a clip of what Gary V said about renting. I just think he's got such a good point. I, I think people have to ask themselves, are they actually ha happy eight out of ten days when they wake up? And if they're not, they need to put pressure on themselves to make themselves realize they're probably not doing what they want to be doing. And, and then the next question becomes, are you doing a job just to afford your lifestyle? Right. And are you willing to, like, I'm getting so passionate about teaching people how to sell their home and go rent so that they can quit a job where they make 200,000 a year so they can take one that makes 89,000 because they'll be happy. And what did you give up? Telling people you own your home? Nobody's out there like, hey, sell your home and start renting so that you can quit a job that you hate so that you can afford to maybe do something you love. But I think happiness over everything. Like the American dream should not be owning a home. The American dream should be to be happy. I felt the pressure so many times to feel like I need to own a home or I need to at least be doing this, I need to be doing that and da da but it says who? When I um, spoke about renting before on my Instagram, I've had so many people message me from different places in Europe. I wish I could remember where they said that where they are, it's not as pushed on you to own a home. A lot of people rent and it's quite normal. I don't know if the UK just is so like America and we've got like an American dream. It's almost very similar. I just sat and debated whether I even want to put this up. Another thing I've heard a lot whilst renting is, why are you bothering to do that? It's not yours. Because it's my home for now and right now it is mine. If you want to paint a wall, if you want to do whatever in your home, whether it's yours technically or not, also, a lot of people are like, oh, I would rather just, you know, live at home and save up for it and then blah, blah, blah. And it's like, not everyone has that privilege. It is actually a privilege to be able to live at home in this happy household, but not everyone has that. Everyone's scenario is different. I actually have a friend who saved up for a mortgage. They've got the money to put a deposit down. At last minute, they decided they didn't want to. They were like, oh, actually, what about if we want to do this? What about if we want to start a business? Mm, maybe we will if it feels right like there's not it's it's a big commitment some people don't want to make that they're not ready on the subject of commitment i completely forgot to add this in anna if you're watching <laughs> this one's for you some people don't want the responsibility of owning when it comes to things breaking some people like renting for the simple fact that if something goes wrong it's not your responsibility you call someone up your boiler's not working and it's their responsibility to pay for it, get it fixed, and sort it out. Oh, you need to get on the ladder. You need to get on the ladder. What about if I don't want a fucking ladder? Take your ladder back. I don't want your ladder. What about if someone doesn't want the ladder? You need to get on the ladder soon, you know? You need to get on the ladder. No. <laughs> I don't want your ladder. I'm gonna sit on my concrete step that I don't own. I could buy it and waste my money on anything else. The moment you say you're renting, bam. It's a lecture or suddenly someone's so bothered it's as if i've taken their money and i've spent it on the rent i'm not dismissing buying a house as an achievement don't get me wrong if i bought a house tomorrow i'd be i'd be very happy it would be an achievement don't think it makes you better and i don't think it gives people the right to judge people for living differently i would just love if we lived in a world where we normalized people doing things how they wanted that fits them and like I say, we don't all come from the same backgrounds, the same upbringings. I know someone that every single child gets given 30 grand. I wasn't even given 30 pounds towards my car. And that's not me saying that everyone gets a handout because there's many people that don't, but there's also many people that do. Everyone, what I'm trying to say is everyone's scenario is different. I guess we just live in such a consumer world that we're defined by our stuff, our homes, our cars. I refuse to define anyone by them things. I remember someone saying, oh, so-and-so's made it, they've got a Range Rover and they own a house. And I was like, wow, is that what making it is? Are they content? Are they genuinely happy? Obviously you can't be happy all the time, but are they at peace within themselves? Another scenario where 
rent is just so dismissed and so meh. When you first move out for the first ever time, it's exciting. It doesn't matter if you own the home, if you're renting, it's exciting. And I remember at one of my old jobs, someone bought a house, you would get them a card, like congratulations, you put money in, and then someone was moving out for the first time, but they were just renting. When it came to the card and stuff, people were like, well, well, I'm not giving them money because they're just renting or cause they're only renting. I get that you have to put down a bigger deposit on a on a house, but this other person is excited and happy too and it's their first home, whether they own it or not. I hate how it was dismissed and acted like just at me. Do you know what I mean? And like I say, I keep reiterating it, this is not an attack on anyone that has a mortgage. This is not an attack on anyone at all. This is simply just a bit of awareness towards how we approach renting and just be less rude when it comes to it and if someone asks you financial advice when it comes to renting then then give it if someone says oh do you reckon i should rent or buy then knock yourself out honestly no one that's renting what is this <coughs> no one that's renting when they tell you they're renting wants you to tell them they're empty money, they're not investing, they should buy a home. No one wants to know that. If someone asks for financial advice, they would ask for it and you don't need to give it. Dismissing someone's home, like that's their home. This isn't gonna be my home forever and it's not technically my home, but I love it. And it feels like home, it's my home. So it's actually a bit rude to dismiss that. That's someone's place, they sleep in, they wake up and they have so many memories in and you're dismissing it because they don't have a mortgage. I hope you haven't misunderstood my points. This is not me saying renting is better than getting a mortgage. This is not me saying anything like that. What is better is doing what suits your life and makes you happy. Nothing's better, whether you get an investment or not, nothing is better than you just living a content happy life. So whatever that is, whatever works for you, that is right. If you're feeling pressure or someone's put you down about renting, you're doing your life exactly how you should be. No better, no worse. You're not doing well and not well. If you're happy, you're doing well. If you're content, you're doing well. If you've got inner peace, you're doing well. Don't let the status of your home, homeowner, renter, living with parents define you. Please don't comment below and tell me the advantages of buying or whatever it may be. I know them, I'm not stupid, I'm fully aware. I'm also fully aware that I don't have to buy a home. If I do, then I do, and if I don't, then I don't. I don't know what's gonna happen in my life. I think if anything, 2020 has taught us that anything can happen, whether we, we can plan our lives as much as we want. But how do we know? Even if this has just made one renter, feel better about the scenario when maybe they felt a bit down or behind in life, then that's all that matters. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>